Hey everyone, this is Mark with Pinnacle Property Group and we're over at our four bedroom sailfish custom house. We uh, are just finishing up for a customer right now and I uh, wanted to walk you guys through and kind of show you some of the features we did in the house that are over and above standard that we include. Um, so we're in the kitchen right now and uh, there's a few things he did in particular to kind of get started. He uh, did a island with some quartz. Um, he did a nice waterfall feature here, which is dragging the the, grant, uh, the quartz down the side um, of both sides of the cabinet. So that gives you a really nice, clean, good look. He did a really cool upgraded faucet here, which is one touch for the sink. Really nice way to go. He also did some pop-up outlets includes USB so you get an opportunity to hook stuff up put your phones up you're all set to go so that's a really nice cool feature that he did in the kitchen he also added a pot filler line which is really unique you don't have to take your stuff from the sink over to your stove top so that's really nice people like doing that He put the uh, glass cooktop in. He also put the, the hooded range above that. Um, he put a nice KitchenAid refrigerator in. All right, so over here, he's got a microwave oven combo, which is very nice. It's another KitchenAid, so it's to his style. What's nice with Pinnacle is you get an opportunity to hand select your appliances and get the, the features that you really want. And then over here, he did a really nice 24 inch mini fridge that works really well. Put your beverages inside. See another little thing we did for him. We put gray outlets to match his gray backsplash. So he was uh, really happy with that. Put some rollouts inside inside the uh, cabinets. So he's got that stacked all the way down. So he's got an extra size pantry here. So we customized the cabinets for him. He took this house, really made it clean, made it very, very modern to his liking. So that's one of the things you can do with Pinnacle is you can make it the way you want. We give you a floor plan and you decide how you want to make it and it usually works out really well. We'll come over to the, uh, the master bedroom. I'll show you what he did in here. He kept the slider going out to the master so he can get to his, uh, his pool in his summer kitchen anytime he wants to. Come down through here to the master bedroom. Got walk-in closets. He upgraded his shelving and went with the wood inside there. Really nice way to go. You'll see he changed the style of the windows and put two windows in, but maintained the, the tile going all the way to the ceiling. Put a linear drain in. Got a really nice countertop here, maintain the quartz inside the uh, bathroom itself. It's also got a nice freestanding soap tub. Matched up his faucet with the, the faucet in the uh, bathroom itself. Everything's a uh, polished chrome. What's nice about what Pinnacle does with their floor plans is you'll have a master on one side and all the bedrooms will be on the other. So you got some privacy, but you also get a chance to keep everybody together in a great room. 
area that's connected to your kitchen. You'll he did the 90 degree slider here, so he eliminated the post. This pocket's all the way across. Now on the, the winter days that we get, you get a real good chance to connect the house with the outside. He's got his rough in for the summer kitchen. He did an oversized pool here. It's a little bit longer than we normally do, but he added a sun shelf. And you'll see this little area over here when we get to that side of the house is where the fourth bedroom is. It's another little lanai covered space that his in-laws are gonna use. So they're, uh, they're really looking forward to doing that. So this will kind of serve as a second master suite to a certain extent. Still maintain the walk-in closet. I'm here in the fourth bedroom, and I wanted to make note of this second lanai area that is gonna allow his in-laws to sit outside in a covered space with a fan. They get up early in the morning, wanna have their coffee or whatnot, they can sit out here and do their own thing. They have a little sitting area outside of it as well, so kind of plays along with that four uh, or additional master bedroom option that you can do when you, uh, when you build a pinnacle. Another really nice thing they did here, they added the fence. He has a dog, so what he's gonna do is he's got a nice fenced in area so his dog can run back and forth, not feel like he's getting involved with the neighbors. So he's got a really nice area here with a gate so they can cut their grass. Uh, for his dog to play around. Um, also, you see he added the water heater or the pool heater as well. So this is a nice thing people like to do on the outside area to uh, give their kids and their dogs extra space to play around. This is what our standard pool cage is. Um, you'll see it's got more bars up and down and more bars going across. This works really well. You're doing a dry lot, okay? Um, It'll cover the entire size of the deck. And this being a four bedroom, you get an extra space out here that will maintain itself to have additional seating uh, along with the covered lanai space. Um, you'll see he set this up. So he's got a nice walkway between the pool and the cage. This pool is slightly oversized. Um, and uh, that, that'll be to their liking if they wanna swim laps. They added the, uh, the kid fence, so people out there, if you have grandkids, you can do the kid fence and that'll protect them from getting in the pool. This whole house is about just over 2,600 square feet. And he came to us about three years ago with some ideas. We took our regular four bedroom plan and customized it to his liking. So we're gonna call this our four bedroom blue fin plan because his outside area has got a nice blue garage door and front door that looks really, really good. He's got his washer dryer in the laundry room. He's got a nice sink. We added some under cabinet lighting for him. Put some cabinets above the washer and dryer so he's real happy with that. So little things you can do here and there to make the house very user friendly. These are the two guest bedrooms. You have a, a, a bathroom in between. They both still maintain walk-in closets. You see he upgraded the tile in the, uh, in the, in the tub, put a vertical Estello in. You see a lot more of that now than the, the stripe that goes all the way around. Another nice really thing we did with this house is this laundry room is tip or this closet is typically bigger. We made it smaller so he could expand his laundry room, make it wider. So I'm sure they'll be real happy with that. Another nice thing you can do when you build a pinnacle is you get an opportunity to pick your light fixtures throughout the house, also fans. 
Uh, this particular case, you see he did some matching dinette along with his pen lights over the island. He also chose to do can lights throughout the entire house, including all the bedrooms. So it's a, just another feature that, that you can do when you build a pinnacle to make the house custom and make it the way you want. You see he dialed in the, dine, or the foyer light to somewhat match the other lights and also he customized the, uh, the study, made that actually larger because we had played around with the size of the laundry room. It gave an opportunity to expand the study. He also decided to put two elongated windows in instead of the one that we typically have, which you can open and close. So just another cool thing that you can do to uh, make it the way you want. Okay, everyone out there, that'll put a wrap on our new customized four bedroom sailfish model. And I uh, appreciate you taking the time to watch the video and feel free to reach out to Pinnacle Property Group in the future for any building needs you might have. And we'll look forward to talking to you again down the road. Thank you.